We were awakened by a voice and a bright light. It was a real sense of evil in the house. He made me tie up my husband. He ordered her to put dishes on my back. And say, if I hear these dishes fall down, I'm going to kill your family. Pat and Oswald sitting here with Michelle McNamara, my wife, who's the writer of one of the best written crime blogs. Michelle looked at it from the hopeful, putting puzzles together, trying to make sense of violence. I was in search of a man who was attacking women and girls throughout Northern California. And the great tragedy of this case to me is that it's not better known. The Irvine Police Department investigating an apparent homicide. He's called the Golden State Killer. This case is huge. Michelle would actually go to the crime scene and walk the case. Geographic connections, DNA profiles, genealogy websites. The first time she called me, I thought, hmm, huh, she knows her stuff. So I started telling her things about my investigation. When these crimes began in the 70s, women didn't talk about sexual assault because they were often blamed. Somehow, it always came back to being the woman's fault. The story of the victims, it has to be told. He had cased the place. He knew to lift the glass out of the back window. I understood what it meant to have your skin crawl. And I'm thinking, is this really happening? I don't know how Michelle lived the horror of that day after day. She was writing a book, and she was trying to solve a case. After Michelle died, we had to finish her book. I'll be gone in the dark. You threatened the victim once. One day soon, you'll hear footsteps coming up your front walk. The doorbell rings. Take one of your hyper-gulping breaths. This is how it ends for you. He's been called the original Night Stalker and the Golden State Killer. Today, it's our pleasure to call him Defendant.